Hello. Today we're going to go over how to make a menu item with Turbo Chef's new control pen. First thing we're going to do is look for that gear icon on the bottom right hand side and hit the code 9428. Next we're going to look for oven settings and we're going to make sure that menu edit is highlighted in green. Once we see that menu editing is in the green, we know that we can log out and turn on our Turbo. Once you see the pencil icon and hit it, you'll see there's a pencil icon next to all of the items that you could edit. So you could select any of these group items and you can start editing. But for us, we're gonna add a group. We're gonna create our own. At this point, you can name the group whatever you would like. For me, I am going to name it test video. Once we see that menu editing is in the green, we know that we can log out and turn on our Turbo Chef. Once we have named our group, we can now select an icon that will best represent the group that we are created. I'm gonna look for a pizza icon. That's what I plan on showing today. I'm gonna leave the offset at zero. Once that we've created a group, we're ready to edit recipes within that group. So hit the group, make sure that we're selecting the pencil and hit edit recipes. Just like we named the group, we are now going to name this individual recipe. At this point, we know that we're making something with one stage. You can name the stage if you choose to. And these are the settings that we have time, air and microwave. At this point, I'm going to make an educated guess on what my flat bread is going to need. So I think it's going to take about two minutes with an 80% airflow and a 0% microwave. Once I input the settings that I think is going to work and my oven is up to temperature, I'm going to input my test pizza and hit cook. Once my item's out, I'm going to look at what I think I may need to change, if anything at all. Looking at this pizza, I think it could use a little bit more caramelization on top and a little bit more cook on the bottom. So with that, I know that I'm going to change my offset temperature by 25 to increase it to heat up the stone base for a bullet. For other ovens, you could increase the bottom air or just increase the airflow in general. I'm also going to increase the air from 80 to 90 and the time from two minutes to two and a half minutes. Once I've made these changes, I'm going to hit cook again. So my second round of pizza, it looks like there is more caramelization on top, which I'm happy with. And the bottom does have a better bake because of the offset. So I'm happy with this. And so I'm going to hit save. Once I've saved, I'm now going to get out of edit mode, make sure that it's off so that our employees don't have to worry about all those additional settings and they can just hit the item that they need and so forth. Now that editing's off, all your employees is going to have to do is hit the right group and hit the right item and then the timer will start right away. Hopefully this will help you create a group and menu items in your new Turbo Chef. Thank you for watching.